It's the summer of 1917 on the Somme, and Private Smith of the King's Liverpool Regiment has just been told he's got an hour when he's not on duty. His first job is to get ready to make a meal. He cuts a slot in the base of his trench, because in here he can get a fire going and still be able to rest his mess tin. His plan is to make a stew, a corned beef stew. He uses his jackknife to get the vegetables ready. He's lucky. Normally, it's dried vegetables, the sort that the army supply. But with the help of a mate and a French farmer who didn't know he was helping, he's got fresh vegetables, which include carrots, onion, and a couple of potatoes. He'd like to have separate meat and veg, but frankly, he hasn't got the fuel or even the space to do both. So it's going to be an all-in-one stew, just like most days in the trenches. He'll be here for five days, so he's got to be careful, using the ingredients carefully, not wasting anything. And that includes the onion. This meal is for him, but he'll only use half the veg. The rest will go to his mate. Sharing is important, because he'll be back on guard duty soon, and then it'll be his friend's turn to cook. He now puts everything in the mess tin, adding a bit of fat, which will come off the corned beef when the tin's opened. Everything is as small as possible, so it cooks quickly. The quicker it cooks, the better it'll be. He'll have time then to enjoy his meal and not have to hurry, or worse still, see it chucked away if he goes back on guard duty. He opens up the half pound tin of corned beef. He will share this with his mate. He cubes it, ready to put into the tin, so it'll cook thoroughly. He doesn't want to overcook it, because it'll turn to a disgusting pink mess. He wants just to cook it through, adding water as he goes along, and perhaps putting in some smashed up biscuit, like large dog biscuit, as a thickener. It absorbs the flavor and improves things. His next job is to cut up his sandbag. He soaked this in candle wax. He adds it to the already burning fire and he can start frying off the meat, cooking the vegetables and eventually pouring in some water to produce a thick, hopefully tasty stew. He stirs so it doesn't stick or worse still, melt the tin on the outside of his mess tin. The last of the corned beef goes in and he keeps it going till he thinks it's thoroughly cooked. His last job is just to get ready. He puts his spoon in his putty and gets something he's brought from the canteen. He and a mate bought this bottle of HP sauce. He has to buy it. It's not an army ration, but it means that the food tastes so much better and all the lads do it, just to improve it, pep it up a bit. And now, with 20 minutes still to go before he's back on sentry go, he can sit back and enjoy a tasty meal. Pleasant in summer, a lifesaver in the middle of winter, when a hot meal is what a soldier needs. Without food, a soldier can't fight.